Ordinary ceramic tiles have a huge carbon footprint because they need to be fired at over 1,000 degrees Celsius over many hours. There's a big demand for a relatively sustainable alternative and that's what we're trying to uh, tackle. So we went about tackling this by looking to see how nature produces materials like seashells and pearl. So nature is able to manufacture these materials under very kind of low energy benign conditions. So we try to learn and be inspired by what nature does and try and find a way that we can mass manufacture a similar bio-inspired material. Our idea was a bio-inspired, bio-composite tile that is made from calcium carbonate and a biopolymer. And through a really energy efficient process, we make a tile that doesn't need to be fired in a kiln. Processes and methodologies we used to explore, it's called design of experiments, but it's basically a statistical way of exploring experimental space. The number of combinations of different materials you could try is just huge. So what we do is we use computers to kind of do the heavy lifting and find like the right combinations for us to try and investigate. By using this approach we can avoid excess iterations and this not only saves us money but it saves us time as well. It led us to discover some interesting uh, relationships between various additives and, and the other kind of ingredients we were using. One of them was graphene. We found that graphene could improve the uh, flexural strength of the tiles by up to 20%. Uh, this is great because it means we can make thinner tiles and this saves us energy and resources. We can make more material with less, essentially. Through this project, we have shown that these biocomposite tiles can reach B3 classification, which ceramic tiles are held to. So we're not only meeting the 12 megapascals flexural strength, but we're actually going above and beyond that. And that's amazing, and this is only our first iteration of work. I've never really engaged with the Foundation Industries Network. Having this support structure to, to meet people and engage and, and collaborate has been really valuable for me in particular. This project, I've been able to broaden my horizons and get involved in the Foundation Industries, which I would have never have done before. It's helped launch my career and it given me a lot of experience now to go into other startups or maybe other projects in the Foundation Industries. We're looking to start scaling up and make the initial kind of steps towards commercialisation. We'll also be seeking seed investment funding to really get us off the ground. We've been really grateful for the network, so we're looking forward to engage with them going forward and we're always open to further collaborations with anyone else who might have some interesting ideas in this space.